Why am I sitting in the dark? So I've been getting a lot of questions about the window film and the colors on the glass. And I just wanted to share why I did that um, treatment in my studio, why it's important to me, because it's more than just the color, even though I'm a colorist. But I'm in the dark because I wanted to show you how glorious it looks like from the inside looking out. And then at nighttime, it's the opposite. It's light in here, and this is what the people outside see. Yeah, but pull up a chair. I'm gonna be chatting all about UV uh, window film and why it matters in an art studio. Let's chat. So as you can see, those windows are quite large. They're 82 inches vertical, almost about three feet wide each pane. And it's beautiful natural light in this new studio space. I've also got that beautiful door over there as well that I'm probably going to do the same treatment to. But the thing is, I live in Mobile, Alabama, and in Mobile, about half the year, it's hot as Hades. It's so hot that you don't need makeup because it just drips off. It's like air you can wear, it's awful. But the UV light because of the heat that comes in is also another factor. So when you think about an art studio, you want natural light, you love natural light, it's fabulous. But at the same time, if you live in certain geographical locations, the heat and the UV coming in, if it hits those windows and if it's not north light, can be detrimental to your power bill and to the objects in your studio because they're gonna fade. Anything that light hits, the UV is going to fade it over time and actually rather quickly. So part of the color scheme that I used was uh, my branding aesthetic um, those are colors that are in my brand, and I just love them. In my previous studio, I had small squares because the windows were that way. I just didn't physically have it in me to break this up and make it look like, you know, stained glass window panes. And I actually love the vertical stripes. But I'm using a product like this. It's called UV Window Film. Um, I'll share the my Amazon shop link, so if you want to... Uh, grab some for your window or studio you totally can it comes in different colors sometimes the colors are hard to get they're out of stock a lot but the unique thing about this paint this film is that it's this iridescent and it's totally transparent but at the same time it can be opaque it's the weirdest thing and it shifts with the angle of the light so it's going to refract and it Although it's blue, it's going to cast orange, it'll look green, it'll look pink, it'll look purple at times. It just depends on where the light hit it, hits it and how you're looking at it. So it's kind of really versatile and it's just really beautiful to me. It like checks all my boxes. Um, it also blocks a ton of heat. You can cut it up into shapes and sizes, you can overlap it, and it's totally removable. Um, it does take a little bit of a learning curve to learn how to get it on there well because you've got to use a soap mixture and things like that. But I can tell you from having two studios using this paper, it's a glorious uh, aesthetic look if you're into color and you love transparency. Transparency is one of those things that I paint with in my paintings, all the layers that you see. I love transparent color because it creates this beautiful luminosity and depth of field. So when I'm thinking about a workspace and an art studio, I wanna consider those elements that I love in my paintings and apply that into layers from a design aesthetic for interiors. And that's one of the ways that I approach making my art studios a bit more unique and very Ardithian. And, I, you know, I've, I've got to have a creatively visual inspiring space. Um, I used to work in complete chaos and it served me well. It drove the people in my life absolute mad. But because my space is not simply for me to come paint in, it's a flex space for events and workshops and, and a gallery space and people and the general public will be in and out. Um, I want to have a beautiful space. so. One of the ways that I did that is looking at the windows and realizing I had a need of heat and non-fading, so I had to troubleshoot how can I solve that without putting full-blown curtains, because I could have done curtains, 
but I really wanted the light. So this UV film, magic. If you've got a small window, if you've got some big windows and it's really hot, you may want to consider this from a solution air point of view. This is a great product. Just wanted to uh, chat with you. I'm glad you pulled up a chair. If you have any questions about this um, or how I used it, shoot a message to me. Let's chat.